The Ministry of Defense in the United Kingdom has confirmed that the development of autonomous, carrier-based refueling and logistics aircraft for the Royal Navy is still underway, with no definitive decisions made on fielding these systems. Defense Minister Lord Coker stated that autonomous refueling aircraft are part of active capability development, rather than a settled procurement. The Royal Navy is exploring fixed-wing autonomous collaborative platforms to augment F-35B Lightning jets on Queen Elizabeth-class carriers, specifically for potential air-to-air -air refueling roles within the future hybrid air wing. These capabilities remain in development and testing phases, without a defined acquisition program. Project Vanquish Project Vanquish is highlighted as the current demonstrator effort. This project aims to demonstrate a short takeoff and landing jet-powered ACP to a Queen Elizabeth-class carrier, representing the initial step towards realizing this ambition. The MOD issued a preliminary market engagement notice for Project Vanquish, seeking industry views on a fixed-wing short takeoff and landing autonomous collaborative platform for Royal Navy carriers. The effort is described as a technical demonstration to inform future procurement options for the UK's hybrid air wing. Project Vanquish aims to deliver a technical demonstration at sea by the end of 2026, with options for delivery within an 18-month window also being considered. The platform must be jet turbine-powered, capable of high subsonic speed, and able to launch and recover from carriers without catapults or arrested recovery systems. It is expected to carry a credible payload with sufficient endurance for roles such as intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, strike, and air-to-air -air refueling. This initiative is intended to complement the F-35B Lightning as part of the QEC and its carrier air wing. The estimated contract value for this project is £10 million excluding VAT, with a potential period from April 2026 to December 2027. In addition to refueling, the Royal Navy is also assessing options for an autonomous carrier onboard delivery capability. This includes trials of both fixed and rotary wing aircraft capable of operating from Queen Elizabeth class carriers, although there is no commitment to a specific platform or timetable yet. Investment decisions for both refueling and COD capabilities are being developed in line with the Strategic Defense Review recommendations and will be detailed in the Defense Investment Plan. Broader Context of Drone Integration the UK's future carrier air wing plans involve integrating drones and long-range missiles with crewed F-35B stealth jets, a concept referred to as hybrid air wings. This approach seeks to combine high and low capabilities, exploiting autonomy and digital integration to create a more powerful, yet potentially more cost-effective fleet. The Royal Navy has been exploring ways to integrate drones into its future carrier air wing for some time. This includes looking into assisted launch and recovery systems for its carriers to enable operations by various fixed-wing, uncrewed aircraft. The Royal Navy conducted trials with the General Atomics Mojave short takeoff and landing drone aboard HMS Prince of Wales in late 2023, which did not require launch and recovery systems due to its STUL capabilities. The goal is to progress from Stavel, short takeoff and vertical landing, to STL, then to Stobar, short takeoff but arrested recovery, and finally to Catabar, catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, incrementally improving capability and spreading financial cost. Project Arc Royal is the name for the cat and trap plan for drone operations on UK carriers, aiming to allow heavier, more complex, and higher performance drones to operate from the Queen Elizabeth class carriers. Future plans even include reworking the Queen Elizabeth-class design with catapult launch gear to operate the heaviest aircraft imaginable, potentially including crewed fixed-wing aircraft for roles like airborne early warning and airborne tankers. The Royal Navy made its first-ever drone-based logistics resupply between warships during Operation Highmast in September 2025, using a T-150 drone. During the 2025 UK Carrier Strike Group mission, Drones from 700X Squadron pushed the boundaries of uncrewed air operations, particularly by transferring supplies between ships within the group.